I can't be as completely open and honest with my friends and family as I would like to because at the back of my mind I'm always very conscious of upsetting them. The hardest part for me is knowing that at some point I'll be leaving them without their mother. I've seen them break down and cry which is really, really hard to see, especially with people that don't normally cry. It's really difficult to empathise with somebody who's got a secondary cancer diagnosis unless you have some experience with cancer yourself. They don't know the thoughts that go through your head. They don't understand that every time you get a headache, you've convinced you've got a brain tumour growing in your head. I don't want them to see exactly how I feel because I think that would be too hard for them. I got in contact with Breast Cancer Care and I attended their meetings and the people there were great. I mean, it was very welcoming and it was fantastic because they are all there with the same problem. They help you with with all sorts of things. We have guest speakers that help with benefits that you're eligible for, um, different care, trials, all sorts of information. You can message people any time of the day and night with any weird symptom or feeling or emotion and they just get it. It just gives you a feeling that you're not alone and that you're not the only one.